It is the Q, like the Queen. No other words are needed. You were, it seemed at times, either in it or watching it. At the last count, seven and a half million people had tuned in to the live feed to watch an estimated 750,000 walk past the coffin. We've never seen anything like it before, we all said, except those old enough to remember that some had. Through the night, the people wait, silent and patient. Their night's rest they give to the king. Keeping what we're seeing is extraordinary. It isn't, though, new. In fact, it's a flawless replica of what happened 70 years ago, when the Queen's father, King George VI, died and he lay in state. Britain has changed dramatically, of course. There are 17 million more of us. Our population is so much more diverse. Back then, there was just the one TV channel in black and white. Thank you. For so many here, what matters is that, being here, being in the queue. In this era of selfies and emojis and online posts, it seems that what we've discovered is the advantages of being social without the media, because the queue for many people is as much about this journey as it is about the destination. The night ends, the doors open, and into the Hall of Kings, the Great Hall of Westminster, passes the long, silent column. So many people, but so little noise. The silence, not just the absence of the noises of our modern era, the clicking and beeping of mobile phones, not even the silence of an ancient cathedral. Thick, deep pile carpet on the stone floor absorbs almost every sound. Until... That tap, tap for the changing of the guard. Another signals the lowering of weapons. After a third tap, tap, heads are bowed. Of George VI, it will be written, this was a king his people loved. So little has changed since we last mourned the monarch, and yet so much has changed. Gone are the Sunday best suits, the ties and the hats, of course, but we are still mourning together. Not everybody, of course. There are some who are baffled by all of this. There are others who fear that the monarchy has remnants of empire, of hierarchy, of deference, of class. So what does explain the willingness of so many to queue for so long for so short a glimpse of a coffin. People in the queue feel they are not alone. They are not socially distanced. They're not behind a mask or a screen. They are together with strangers who share that desire simply to be together, to remember, to respect, and to be here in the queue. Nick Robinson, BBC News.